In this video, I'm going to show you how to access Gmail offline on your laptop. So let's get started. The first thing that you have to do is go to Chrome and then you'll have to open Gmail. After that, you'll just have to sign in if you haven't already. And here as you can see, I've reached Gmail. After that, you'll have to click on settings, which is on the top right over here. Then just click on see all settings. So over here, you'll have all of your settings and on top, you'll find a new option, which is called offline. So it's written over here on the top right. Now just click on it. And now just click on enable offline mail. So you can decide how many emails you'll want to store. So based on the number of days, you can select from 7, 30 or 90. So currently I've selected 30. So now emails from the last 30 days with attachments will be stored on my laptop. Then they have another setting that after logging out of your account, whether you want to keep your offline data on your computer or remove all of the offline data from it. So you can select whichever one you want. I'll select keep offline data and then I'll just click on save changes. Now it's reloading Gmail and now it's done. So I'll quickly show you how it works. So one thing that you should do is just bookmark this page. So then when you don't have internet, it'll take you directly to your inbox. So for that, just click on the star on the top right and just call this Gmail and click on done. So now I'm in settings and I'll quickly turn off my Wi-Fi and show you how it works. So now it's off. And now I'll just click on Gmail that's written in the bookmarks bar. And here as you can see, Gmail has loaded, but it's shown at the bottom left that we're offline. But now you can do the same things that you could when you had Wi-Fi. So over here as you can see, I have the last 30 days of emails. And now, even if I want to compose an email, I can do that as well. And it'll just be stored in the outbox until it gets Wi-Fi. So I'll just show you how it works. I'll click on compose. So here I'm sending an email to myself and I'll click on send. It's showing that we're offline and the message will be sent later. And if I go to the outbox, so it's stored over here and it'll be sent when online. So this is basically how it works. And if this video helped you, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Goodbye.